Hello, students. Assalamualaikum. Today, uh, 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 we have completed all seven prime books. Uh, now, today, uh, I have to start my topic, errors and suspense. Now, there are two types of errors in accounting. Errors affecting trial balance and errors not affecting. So, first, we start with errors not affecting trial balance. Okay. So, see what are the errors. Uh, This way. Now you can see a trial balance. The trial balance is given here. And it's an agreed trial balance. It's an equal trial balance. Debit side and credit side are equal. Are you getting my point? 6005. Both the sides. So when, uh, as an accountant, when we make a trial balance, if it is an agreed trial balance, it's an equal trial balance, we are always happy. We have done it. Okay. Or this is a meme on Facebook. Pe, ke trial balance ki jab tally ho jata, equal. So, accountant is very happy to be able to get the same thing. So, the trial balance is agreed, and we are happy, we are satisfied. But you know, even then, when a trial balance is agreed, there is a possibility of making seven errors. You have made this trial balance. We have done posting in the accounts. Everything is done. You have written in the prime books. Then you have posted in the T accounts. Then you have made the trial balance. But even then, there is a chance of having seven errors. Okay. Now, there is a question. If an accountant is happy with this trial balance and it might be possible that it contains seven types of errors. Who will deduct, de deduct, who will find, who will find out those errors? So those errors not affecting trial balance will be ascertained by the auditors, not by the accountant. Because accountant is happy or having a, uh, an equal and agreed trial balance. Are you getting my point clear? So these errors are ascertained by the auditors, not accounted. Okay. Now uh, we have to start with errors not affecting trial balance. Okay. So this is where here we are. to start our topic and we have started with first single word there is a possibility if we have made these errors and we don't know we don't know so we have made these errors now see first error error number one there are seven okay According to Frankfurt, there are seven errors, not affected trial errors. Okay. First is error of omission. Okay. So, achha, before that, I, I do uh, uh, remind you, if uh, hopefully you have not uh, forgotten. The prime book. The prime book of error is general general. Okay, don't forget that. So errors are corrected via via general. general. Getting my point now. Error of omission. Then then an accountant or what? Transaction to enter into the books. This is called error of omission. Getting my point clear? When an accountant forget to enter a transaction, suppose you 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 did not enter 
a transaction. So that transaction, which is forgotten by the accountant, is not going to affect the transaction. It's obvious. Okay. Now, second error is error of commission. Okay. Error of commission is when an accountant uh, make a mistake in the name of in the name of a customer or a supplier. Getting my point. There are certain customers who have similar names. There is so much resemblance in their name. So this error, actually error of commission is related to suppliers and customers. And we make a mistake in their name. Okay. So suppose uh, we have bought goods. Now, take example. I'm not giving any example of error of omission because error of omission means entering a transaction. You forgot, now you enter. It's easy. Now, error of commission, what happens? Take example. For instance, uh, purchased goods on credit from D. Hayes was wrongly credited to getting my point the names are very uh, very close D Haynes and M Haynes it happens so uh, worth a dollar four thousand five okay now what error we have made are you getting my point here? And how to rectify this error? What happened? What was supposed to happen? And how to rectify that? This is very important. See. Uh, uh, let me take you an example. Insert. This is a T account. Again, this is a T account in the standard form, not in the standard form. I'm making it. Now, what's in a T account? Date, description, debit. Description. T account is okay. This is a T account of purchases. Okay. Now, this is the T account of. Uh, D hints. Okay. Now, this is the T account of this is the T account of M hints. Okay. Now, when you bought goods from D hits, what sub entry was supposed to be debited credit. Okay, now I'm telling you. Now purchases is going to be debited dollar four thousand five, and D hits is supposed to be 
credit. One thousand. Dollar. But instead, that, that is the entry actually. But what we did, instead of writing in D hence, we wrote in M hence account 4,000. Are you getting my point here? So debit was correct. Debit was correct. But credit was, it was supposed to be created in D hence account, but we have created in M hence account. So what entry now we require to correct this error. So before, you know, every transaction is going to be recorded in general general to rectify an error. So what we do, make a general general. This is PR. Getting my point. Okay. Now, see what happens. Acha, you can forget this PR column if you forget to make this PR column. If you don't make deliberately in your exam, it's okay well, because this is for computerized function. Don't worry about that. Okay. Now, how to rectify? D, D Haynes was wrongly credited. So what you have to do, you have to debit D Haynes. D, uh, sorry, M Haynes. M Haynes wrongly debited. So he is going to be debited now by 4,000. And D Haynes, which was left to be credited, now we are paying 4,000. Okay, this is the rectification of error of commission. That can be, uh, that can happen to a customer also, that can happen to a supplier also. Now, narration. To rectify an error of commission. Purchased from was wrongly credited to M. H. This is the match. Okay. Most of the time in CIE, they do not ask for a narration. They give, they, they, they just ask you to make an entry. They please make an entry. Narrative is not required. If narrative is not required, don't write this. But if it is required, you should know how to write a narration while rectifying an error. Okay. Getting my point clear? This is error of commission. Done. Error of commission is just entering a transaction, whatever is left. Okay. Now, Number three is error of transaction. Then this is called error of principle number three. Error number three. Okay, now this type of error takes place when an accountant enters an item in wrong class of account, error of principle. Assets and expenses are debited when increased. Liabilities, capital, and revenues are credited when 
increased. Okay, so in this type of situation, if you debit an asset instead of expense or you create a liability or debt, capital or instead of liability you create capital instead of liability you can create revenue so this is called error of principle okay for example not take an example what's wrong okay. now see for instance purchase of motor vehicle for ten thousand cash debited was wrongly. Debited to motor repair okay getting my point clear okay now we have purchased motor vehicle for 10,000 cash but instead we deb of debiting motor vehicles and asset, we debited an expense. Asset and expense because of same treatment, it's not going to affect the trial balance. So what we do and what, what was supposed to be done? Now, See what happened. See what happened. Now this is motor motor vehicle account. This is motor vehicle account. And when we buy motor vehicle, what we do, we have to debit motor vehicle account and we have to credit cash. This is it. We have to credit cash with 10,000. Now, this was supposed to be done, but what happened? Instead of debiting motor vehicle, we have debited motor repairs expense. And this account was left to be debited. Getting my point clear. We were supposed to debit motor vehicles and create cash. Cash is done. It's okay because they have nothing, they have said nothing about the, uh, anything went wrong in the cash. So cash is created correctly, but debit account is not motor vehicles, but motor repairs. So what we have to do, we have to rectify this error. How to rectify this error? So, okay, we are going to rectify error in general. general. I cannot believe it. What's wrong?
Okay, we will have to make a general general. General, general again. Something is wrong. I don't know. There is no computer. Now, again, general general date. Particulars. We are. Okay, see how to rectify this error. Okay, motor vehicle is going to be debited by 10,000 because it was left to be debited. And the wrongly debited is going to be credit motor replace expense. Motor yes. Getting my point there. Okay, now narration. Two eighty by n of principal purchase of motor van. Oh, sorry, uh, motor vehicle. Two motor repairs expense. Motor repairs expense. Oh, come on. Now, this is narration. If Write narration only when you are required. Okay? If they ask you to, uh, like, if, if they say narrative not required, just do debit and get it and move away. Okay? Okay. Now, error number four. Error number four. Now, what happened? Error of what happened? Better accountant wrongly debits, which is supposed to be created and credits, which is supposed to be debited. He credits. Now, in this transaction, electricity charges 1000 was debited to cash and paid to electricity expense. Expense should be debited and cash should be created or bank should be created when they are paying expense. So in this type of transaction, what happens whenever you rectify any error of uh, complete reversal, you should rectify it with double amount. Okay, so we have to debit electricity by 2000 and we have to credit cash by Y. Plus the reason is Y. Suppose you enter 1000 here. What will happen? The balance is zero. We don't need electricity balance to be zero. We need electricity balance to be 2000, uh, 1000. So if we enter here 2000, now the balance is 1000. If we enter with the, with 1000, the balance is zero. So we have to enter this amount with 2000. Getting my point clear. So how to make it? What we do? Again, we have to make a general general. I don't know my what's wrong with my computer. No, why it's not? Uh, I don't know. 
that's wrong. Okay. Now, so we have to make general general. Description. Oh, sorry, take particulars. So this is or name of a doctor. You also write name of or particulars. We are habit. So what we do? I think every time I have to make that you can't copy this. If something is wrong, I don't know what's wrong. Now, to rectify this error, what we do, we have to debit electricity with 2000. And we have to credit cash Getting my point. So, what is the narration to rectify an error? Okay. Payment of electricity was wrongly credited. credited. This is the narration. But only give narration when you are required to write the narration. Okay? When they say narrative is not required, just leave it. Okay. okay, now fourth error is complete. Come to error number five. Error number five. Oh my God. It's all happening. It's all happening. That's not it. Error number five. Error of original. Okay. Now, error of original entry when an accountant enters a transaction. Correctly. But with the wrong amount. Getting my point here. Okay. Achha. Now it means if the transition debit and credit is correct, but with the wrong amount. For instance, purchase of goods from the border. It's misbehaving. 
Now this is the account of purchases. And this is the account of G mod. Purchases was debited, yes, but with 14 pounds. And G Morgan was created with getting my point clear. Now, what we have to do? We have to credit purchases with 10,000 and we have to credit a debit with G Morgan by 10,000 because we have to decrease the amount. Okay. So, again. Are making zero zero again and again. We are debit what to do. Now, we have to debit G. Morgan because he's credited more than that. More than that card amount by 10,000. And we have to credit purchases. Getting my point clear? Okay. Narration. To rectify an error of original entry, goods purchased from G Morgan, oh, sorry, it was G Morgan, from G Morgan. Morgan was third so four dollar two thousand was deposited and this is the next. Come to error number six. Error number five, error number six, error number six is error of error of transposition. Okay. When an accountant substitutes two sequential digits in a correctly entered transaction, this is called error of transposition. For instance, the transaction is correctly entered, but with wrong amount, it's not error of original entry, actually. with the wrong digits, actually. For instance, postage dollar sixty nine was 
was paid in cash. But ordered as dollar ninety six. You getting my point here? Swapping the places. Okay. Now what happened? See. Okay. This is postage account. And this is cash account. Postage was supposed to be generated by $69. But what we did, we did entered 96 and cash was credited with 96. It was actually 69, but recorded debit and credit. Actors, transaction is correct. The debit is correct, the credit is correct, but with swapping the figure, the digits. So what we have to do, again, we have to make a general entry to rectify the error. Okay, again. Date. Name of account. Debit. Okay, now now how do you rectify? Now, 69, uh, 96 minus 69, 96 minus 69, 27. Postage is overstated by 27 and cash is also overstated by 27. So what we have to do, we have to debit cash by 27 and we have to credit postage Getting my point clear? Okay. Now, narration to rectify error of transposition. Post amount of postage for nine dollars. Okay. This is the narration. <coughs> okay. Getting my point clear? Now, error number seven is compensating error. Compensating. Okay. When two errors cancel the effect of each other. Oh, oh, we have to be very much careful. For instance, so mostly it happens. Uh, with revenues. 
very expensive. Okay. Now what happens? For instance, the favorite compensating error of CI. Are you getting my point here? The favorite compensating error. Discount. Oh my God. Discount allowed for was only debited to discount. Oh my God. Discount discount allowed was wrongly debited to discount receipt or discount received. Getting my point here. This is a favorite compensating error of your CI. Getting my point here. Okay, see. Discount allowed is an expense, discount received is revenue. So they cancel the effect of each other. How? I have to explain a lot. I have to give a lot of time to explain this error. So please be careful. See, you have to know the whole story first. Suppose Peter Parker is our customer. We have sold goods to him. So Peter Parker debit and what we have to credit, we have to credit sales. And please listen to the whole story carefully. Done. Any confusion? Any confusion? Okay. Done. Now. Uh, one of uh, there is a customer. There is a pack. Okay. Uh, we have bought we have bought goods. So what we debit purchases debit and the supplier name is. Optimus okay. so it's great. Please listen to the story here very carefully. Okay. Now suppose Peter Parker is paying us. Okay. Peter Parker is paying us the amount in uh, by check, and he is availing five percent. So what will happen when Peter Parker will pay to us? But he's not giving us a full amount; he's taking this amount. So this is a bank account. This is the bank account. So Peter Parker will pay us 12,000 multiply by 95 percent. 11,000 and debit. And we have to credit by 11,000. Now 600 is left in Parker, Parker's account which he's not ready to pay. So this 600, what we do? We credit Parker and we debit discount allowed. 
Which account? Discount. Allowed. We debit by six. Are you getting my point here? Done. We should only pay 11,400, 600. We have to remove his from his account and we have to enter into this account. Now, suppose we are paying to Octopus. Octopus. And we are paying uh, 16,000 less 5% discount. So 16,000 multiplied by 95%. We have to pay 15,200 to Octopus. So Octopus is debited by 15,200 and bank is created by 15,000. Getting my point clear? <coughs> okay. Now, how much is left in October's account? 800. That 800 is going to be debited and we will credit another account which means discount. Okay, we are trading this not received by it. Getting my point clear? Okay. Now, see how much we have earned. Discount allowed is 600 and discount received is 800. So, we have given discount 600, we received discount 800. So, we are we have saved actually two. We are in plus. Okay. Okay. The effect is two. Now see, what if instead of creating the sound receipt, if I create 800 here? Again, the effect is 200. Okay. Achha. What if I debit? I wrongly debit instead of discount allowed or debit discount received. Again, the difference is 200. Okay, so this error is compensating. Why? Because it is cancelling the effect of both the errors. If discount allowed is wrongly debited to discount received or discount received is wrongly created to discount allowed, the nature is same. Nature is same. We have to. The, the, the error is compensated, an expense or a revenue, and the trial balance will be agreed and balanced. Are you getting my point? This is called compensating error. So, that's all for today. Uh, whatever uh, error you find, uh, you have to rectify or you have to record in private book. Sometimes they give you in CIE, okay, record the errors, there it is not required, there it is required, whatever it is, be careful about that. There are seven errors which are not affecting time balance. Okay? So in CIE, they can ask you seven, seven errors which are not affecting time balance. Okay, that's all for today. Plus, I've tried my level best to explain the seven errors not affecting time balance. If you want me to solve something for you, write me, subscribe my channel. Thank you. Take care. Allah.